What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide video. This is going to be the last video that is non-spoilers because it is now Sunday and I believe I've covered pretty much every not-spoiler Pokemon that is competitively viable. From this point on we're going to talk about probably not the starters for like a day or two more um, and no legendaries but we'll talk about other like notable Pokemon that weren't officially revealed uh, through trailers and stuff since I believe, you know, three days, four days, probably enough that people are um, ready to see like the route one through like two Pokemon. And actually there are no routes in this game now that I think about it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're talking about Grafi Eye today. I'm gonna say Grafi Fi a lot because it's just what I do for some reason. I can't pronounce Pokemon names, but Grafi Eye is a poison and normal type that was revealed in the trailer, and it is pretty interesting. Um, it has the ability Prankster, which is pretty huge, but it also has the ability Unburden and Poison Touch. We're only going to be making use of Prankster for the most part, but I did include one Unburden set in case people want to try it out. Uh, I guess the one benefit to Unburden is this thing's naturally high speed, uh, means that if you don't go with Prankster, you can still like taunt dark types, which is kind of big. Uh, but yeah, Stat-wise, this thing's a little bit underwhelming, but that 110 speed is going to be pretty decent. We have 63 HP, 95 attack, 65 defense, 80 special attack, 72 special defense, and 110 speed. Uh, and it has really cool moves at its disposal. It actually has a very wide move pool. The only thing I wish it had to make it better, I would say, is Thunder Wave. Uh, Grim Snarl gets Thunder Wave and not Scary Face this gen, and this thing gets Scary Face and not Thunder Wave this gen. If I could swap the two, that'd be great, because I think Grim Snarl will be fine with Scary Face, but Grafi Eye might need Thunder Wave to be a little bit more viable. Uh, I think for the most part, you're going to run Grim Snarl instead of this thing, though, since they run pretty similar, um, they have pretty similar tools. This thing just has like one or two more things. But yeah, uh, going right into the movesets, I guess, we have the first moveset, which is going to be a Focus Sash Prankster set. Uh, please note that you could also run a Covert Cloak on any one of these sets if you really uh, want to, uh, but I think that Focus Sash for the most part is going to be a little bit better. But yeah, uh, Focus Sash, Prankster, it's going to be running 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed, and we are carrying Knockoff, Scary Face, Poison Jab, Imparting Shot. For those of you who don't know, as of Generation 8, um, speed tiers are now dynamic. So previous to Generation 8, what would happen is you would scary face something and it would get minus two speed and that speed tier wouldn't change until the next turn so if it was already going to go second uh before the scary face it would still go second and then the next turn it would go last or whatever speed tier it ended up at uh but in this game and in generation eight uh it's now instant so scary face will instantly lower speed and then it'll take effect right away things will go slower so yeah that's really big for this guy uh, because it makes it so that if your opponent is running some kind of like Tailwind strategy, like Tailwind plus like some nuke Pokemon, uh, then what you can actually do is Scary Face into the Pokemon that's uh, a problem. And that will allow you to slow it down to neutral base speed effectively and have a partner Pokemon take it out. This guy is going to be taking more of a support role. I think that um, offensively it's pretty underwhelming, but we still run max attack on this set because we're already focused Sash. It's not likely you're going to have to, you know, <laughs> it's not likely that uh, you're going to get much out of that max HP for the most part. But yeah, uh, rest of the move set is Poison Jab, Parting Shot, Knockoff, uh, and these are all really, really good moves. Uh, but I do want to note that some of these moves are interchangeable. Poison Jab we just have for stab purposes, but you can also run Gunk Shot if you really, really want like that extra damage since this thing is only 95 attack. But I think that Poison Jab is going to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, and for Knockoff, you can also swap that with Super Fang. Super Fang is a very good move. It's not a status move, but it always deals half of the opponent's remaining HP. So at max HP, you send them down to 50%. At 50%, you send them down to 25. It's really good for comboing into things. And with max speed, you know, this thing can combo into pretty much anything it wants. It's actually very um, a very useful tool. Uh, but yeah, as for Parting Shot, that last move, you can actually swap out with Taunt, uh, with, I, I don't know, like, uh, what, what's this other move set? With Taunt, with Doodle. Oh, I need to talk about Doodle. I don't think Doodle is a great move, but we'll cover it in a second. Uh, we'll, we'll do it last. So... Parting Shot is a really nice tool because if you lead off with this thing and it's actually a pretty bad lead, you can Parting Shot into the opposing Pokemon and it's an instant I'm going to switch out tool. Uh, you lower both uh, attack stats and then you get this thing off the field. Uh, so yeah, the only thing you have to be careful about is like Fake Out, which also is why like Covert Cloak might be pretty decent on this guy. Um, but yeah, Taunt is going to be nice for stopping opposing Trick Room Pokemon like uh, Trick Room... Oranguru. I guess they usually run Mental Herb, but you know, uh, just Trick Room Pokemon generally, you want to stop that. Uh, opposing Tailwind Pokemon, you're going to outspeed them as long as it's not like a priority Tailwind, uh, and you'll get rid of that. You'll prevent them from uh, sending that up entirely. And yeah, 
Uh, we'll talk about Doodle now. Doodle is a very weird move. We have to we have to cover this. It's a gimmick. It is a gimmick. It is, however, an interesting gimmick. Um, this thing has Prankster Doodle, so keep in mind this will happen instantly. But Doodle is a normal type attack, and it copies the, its role play. It's the move role play. You copy the opponent's ability onto not only Grafi Eye, but also the partner next to it. So this is going to be really useful for like intimidate Pokemon. You can actually lead off with Doodle Grafi Eye versus like an Arcanine, and they're going to intimidate you. And you have like, um, I don't know, let's go with uh, a non-intimidate Pokemon. Let's say you lead off with freaking uh, Belly Bolt. You have Belly Bolt. This is hypothetical. I just need to think of a Pokemon. You have Belly Bolt and you have Grafi Eye on lead. And the opponent's Arcanine intimidates you. Uh, and let's say they also have like a really strong physical attack around them, like Choice Bank Garchomp. Uh, that's next to the Arcanine. And then they intimidate you. And then you go, okay, I have an idea. I'm going to doodle the Arcanine. That not only will give Intimidate to both your Grafi Eye and the Pokemon next to it, but it will allow you to activate that Intimidate twice. So each time a, a, an ability gets added to a Pokemon, it's, it activates um, instantly. So that's a double Intimidate on lead. Uh, other uses for this, um, I can't think of much. <laughs> I really can't think of much. I think it's really just gonna be good for copying Intimidates. I suppose if your opponent leads off with Grafi Eye, you can copy Doodle, or you can Doodle uh, to copy Prankster onto a partner Pokemon. It, it's very, very situational. I don't think it's that great, especially since it overrides Prankster. I think you're usually going to want to keep Prankster, which is why I only give it like a note at the end. I'm not going to heavily recommend it. For the most part, Taunt, Parting Shot, they're going to be better moves for you. The next moveset is once again going to be a support moveset with Prankster. This one, I actually, I would recommend Covert Cloak for this one because this one actually relies a lot more on Taunt. So we're running Taunt, Knockoff, Poison Jab, Scary Face. It's very similar to the other one, but we're running Max HP, 4 Defense, 252 Speed. Um, and I mostly want to note this because if you run max HP with Covert Cloak, it guarantees you taunt something. If your opponent is running Fake Out plus Trick Room, you're going to prevent that flinch and you're going to prevent a Trick Room, which is very important. Uh, it's, it's basically just like a more reliable Sash set. Yeah, the moves are mostly the same. Grafi Eye doesn't have too much depth to it, despite being a Prankster mod. Many Prankster mods have like lots of depth to them, but for the most part, Grafi Eye's move pool kind of lets it down. Like it has a lot of stuff, right? But it doesn't have like the right stuff. Um, I guess I'll just list off all like the um, all the uh, support moves it gets. It gets Baton Pass, which is kind of cool. Uh, it gets Encore, which is nice in some situations. We've seen some whims can't run that. Uh, Nasty Plot, Parting Shot, Rest, Sleep Talk, uh, Substitute, Switcheroo. I guess you could like Switcheroo like an eject button, but that isn't nearly as good without Dynamax. Um, taunt, it does get Toxic, that's pretty important. Uh, copycat, Doodle, Endure, Flatter, Helping Hand is probably going to be decent on some of these movesets. Leer, Metronome, technically gives you an instant attack. Rain Dance and Sunny Day, yeah, you have double weathers. Um, I don't know if this thing's going to be like super useful for setting up weather, but that is something it can do. You have Swagger as a prankster move, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Lots of, lots of underwhelming moves. So, you know, the prankster set is going to have like one way it plays, but if you want a little bit of a fun set, uh, here is the Unburden set. We're gonna be running King's Rock in Unburden with max speed, max attack, 4 HP, and our moveset is gonna be Fling, Scary Face, Poison Jab, and Knockoff. Honestly, the thing that really let me down about this guy is that he's a little gremlin looking dude and he didn't get fake out. Sableye gets fake out and he's a little gremlin looking dude. Incineroar is the biggest gremlin of them all. Actually, no, Grimmsnarl is the biggest gremlin of them all. And none of them, none of them have been denied fake out except for Grafi Eye. Why is that? I don't know. Point is, we have to make up for it. So, <laughs> we're running King's Rock Fling. Uh, with this much speed, it act it's actually pretty fast. It's basically like a non-priority uh, fake out is the way you use it. Uh, so you fling the King's Rock onto something and it's a guaranteed flinch if you throw it at them. It's a pretty powerful, no, it's not pretty powerful, but it's like a dark type fake out. So you can actually uh, fake out ghost types. Uh, but yeah, I believe it's 30 base power and that's pretty useful. And you can use that to set up things with, you know, a partner Pokemon next to Grafi Eye, like Tailwind or maybe a Trick Room. Uh, as for the rest of the moveset, it's just Scary Face, Poison Jab, Knockoff, just general support. Obviously, you can mix and match these things, but yeah. From that point on, though, once you fling that King's Rock, you did just lose your item, so you are now unburdened boosted. This will allow you to have plus two speed, making this thing like the fastest Pokemon we have available to us at all. Um, and yeah, it's very cool. It is, it is very cool. It will allow it to be very fast. Uh, and I guess you could run Taunt on it too. So now you can actually Taunt Dark Types and also like Taunt things in Psychic Terrain. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Grafi. I, I find it quite underwhelming, but I do think it's a fun little guy and I might try to make a team with it. Anyways, 
If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, by the way, you say blind stuff, but if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive content. And uh, comment down below what non-spoiler, or I guess what spoiler Pokemon uh, you want me to do tomorrow. Have a nice one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.